Yeah, definitely gonna wait until the new patch is out. Hey, <laughs> and the fate's still not the animation. Oh my god. Hand of Fate does too many things right for how many things it does poorly. The dialogue and storytelling are so cool, but the combat is so bad. The genre of story is Hand of Fate. Uh, it's probably closest to like mystery. You're trying to figure out what the story even is as you're going through it. It's like a medieval fantasy arcane mystery sort of thing. Two, three, four, five. I mean, it's not really a card game. It uses cards for aesthetics. It's... I don't know if I call it a card game. Like, there's sort of deck building, and you can choose what encounters you want to have on the map, but... Cards really could have been anything. I don't win if I go to round three, right? I just have to like jam haunt. <laughs> I'm playing team. <laughs> Whatever. We'll just uh outpoint ice. We'll be fine. Eh, whatever. Let's we'll start it tomorrow. Not a huge deal. I just assumed that it was out already. No fear. Uh, new patch should be Thursday. Did they announce the dev stream yet? Go yeah to pull this twelve point card. <laughs> yeah. I mean, they play either Great Swords or Bear Witches. It's not that many points off. We know they're playing Great Sword too, right? Yeah, we saw a Great Sword in another one. So tomorrow with it was a. Uh, they said it was gonna be Ryan and Malegion, I thought. Ooh, that might have changed. I think Berza mentioned that on Twig. No, Malegion. Play Selena Harpies. <laughs> Probably should just play in Dragon Warriors. Move some probs around. He would, but maybe. 
Okay, we're jamming hot. Good. <laughs> Reasons for the feeble of heart. Don't have dominance. Yeah, I don't know if I like this Kyranthi. I feel like this Kyranthi is very consistently bad. So, how do I do this? I need nine points. You can just get Solano Harpy. I can get Noon Wraith. Because I'd rather get Noon Wraith. How did we win this game? What just happened? We are winning this game, right? I'm not crazy. There's our Consume. There's our Osrel. Yeah, I mean, I guess he didn't know what we were doing. I believe it might make some sense if he doesn't know what's going on. But, uh, he's very dead. I'm going to show him just how dead he is. I didn't see any lists when I looked at lists, but I definitely could have missed them. I didn't look at everyone's. There were three monsters that just kept popping up, Kelly of I and Arrakis. like the sixth best monster archetype. To be fair, that's also just monsters has a lot of different good stuff. 
I'd rather be the 6th best monsters archetype than like the 4th best Squayatel archetype. That will do. Best ST archetype. It goes what? You go. Elves, unitless dwarves. I guess uh, Symbiosis fits in there somewhere. Symbiosis is probably number one. I guess ST has four. I don't think there's a fifth. Or second best Novgorod archetype. Assimilate's not too bad, if you want to say Assimilate and Ball are different. ST was a bad example. I mean, ST would be a bad example for specifically the number four. Is there a fifth? I mean, the fifth would be Harmony, right? I'd rather be Vampires than Harmony. There may have been better factions to name, but I think the point still stands for ST. Not a, I said unitless. I just lumped that all together. So I can't put two things next to each other. in ours revs? Oh, you're putting shield all over revs? I don't know if I'd do that. Yeah, NR is definitely on the sadder side of things. Syndicate sort of has multiple decks now. You've got off the books, you've got line pockets, you've got congregate. They're all pretty distinct. Does Syndicate have a fourth? It's cash. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> when did cash become the fourth best Syndicate archetype? <laughs> Revs for the qualifiers. It helps if you get to ignore lined pockets, but you can play revs. Um, yeah, let's get rid of this, I guess. This is near number one. Oh, this is near number one. I probably should have. Uh, Are still left. Waters is the big one. Well, that's Echo going away, sure. But, like, Waters itself hasn't changed, has it? Let's see. 
You're probably right. Let's see. It started at nine provisions. Holy shit. Oh, because it made you control a dryad. That was such a good version of the card. And then it went to 11. Yeah. And then it went to 12. It was... Yeah, so it lost one provisions. It was 11 provisions when they changed it to just spawn two dryad fledglings, which is when Harmony started becoming a big threat. The card's originally not... How do I not remember this? Stop roping. I'll just rope a little bit more. First release dragon. Oh, that's what happened. Right, right. Because I remembered water not seeing play. Yeah. I remember it now. There was the community discussion whether or not it was a buffer nerf to water. <laughs> Those are always fun. I want to try to consume that. Probably need to save the heat wave. Save the Aniromancy for heat wave. Do you not have the ball? What is it you want? Monsters, no, a ghost. Nice. I don't know what just happened, but I'm happy that it did. As long as I'm getting heat wave, right? I guess I'm still getting yellow kims. Eh, maybe I'm not okay. Might not be able to consume this. Eh, dominance though. Don't use a leader charge. No one can hide from me. Air out of pen before he leaders. I want to make sure I have an answer to the ball. Ball just completely ruins me. Dominance. The Yoakims, I can, I guess, leader charge a rat. 
in order to get down the noon rain. All I do for the Empire. Order. If he doesn't yell at Kim, man, I can even. Well, if I get the token, I don't have the space. How did he miss both Roderick rolls? I'm so confused. Ah, game deed. So, bye. No idea how much was doing. I have AP wave. Yeah, now it still probably makes sense to get the token and just accept that we're just cutting the new wraith because he hasn't played the Yoakim yet. I just kind of figured if he had Yoakim in hand, he would have played it before the Roderick. But I guess if he's missing that many golds, his line made sense. Wave the buy. Oh, of course. How could I have forgotten? Such a simple line. Oh, yeah, wind come. Yeah, maybe our opponent will just pass. Oh, I do have, like, leader chair. Oh, maybe we do just win. <laughs> I forgot how funny this matchup is. How I feel about all this. So what, if you play the Vi, it's 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. I don't need to get the Vi round 1, right? Plus 2. Oh, I guess plus this too. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. It actually exactly works. Probably fine. I don't want to go for the Goliath Heat Wave when he might have Vi in hand. This also works, right? If I works, this works. Um, interesting. No tortoise.
Do you think this is a mirror? Wait. He shouldn't. Maybe I think that it's the wrong deck. Maybe I am the one getting bamboozled. As long as he's not playing Heat Wave, that should just be checkmate, right? Pretty sad. I would be pretty sad. As dead as a Krisa. Yeah, I know what the references. I uh I just take issue with the the premise. Need an Andrega. Oh my. I think about Spargus. His hand's so sweet. I'm on blue coin. Maybe this hand's not sweet. <laughs> this hand might be a little too red coin. Okay. Bad crackers. Whoosh. Two. Okay, we're doing it. We're doing it. Whoosh. One coin, no spender yet. Fiend is sick. This card is so good. It's four provisions. Second time we've been horsing tonight. Yeah, so he's out of crimes. That means his hand is all golds. Just have to play a gold to do two points here. Yeah, we're trying Death Wish. Beyond Sausage Maker is a little ridiculous. It could probably be Fee 3 and be. It might be playable at Fee 3. Fuels its own resilience when you play it. Potentially gets resilience for multiple rounds. Here. This is a pretty good hand for holding off pushes. Piggy. <laughs> Can 
that would be a Nero number two. He hasn't played a lot of crimes, so he has a lot of crimes in deck still. Pig seven, I think. Yeah. Have you heard? I make dreams come true. Yep. Yep. This is Persona Five music. Oh, so here's up his question mark. Let's see if I can fix that. I put maybe like 20% of tracks in the playlist, but there's a lot of like really short stuff that I just didn't bother with. I need to update the, the playlist command again, but... It is queued. Looks pretty good. I could use the second leader charge with that lab. I'm still drawing too. Not really drawing any death wishes. I guess I'd rather have it. The Maruna. Can I ever Maruna anything? We have exactly enough consumes with the Karen. He still needs to get his tribute too, right? Oh. That's a problem. That's a problem. How is he playing Heatwave and Horson? And Luisa Savola. Wait. the Ekimara. No! Sad. No boat, no Philippa, no Siggy. Does that even get you all the way there? I don't know. Yeah, the Skelly Deck was sweet. Skelly Deck was sweet. We were playing a uh, last little Nismatic deck. Want more? 
our hand buff. to play a deck with a bunch of deathwish units. That's sort of how archetypes work, right? Like, you get rewarded for building your deck a certain way, so you get to play cards that are very that would be very powerful in a vacuum. Go. <laughs> now I have to bleed, right? I can't. I can't take movement, nature's gift, into a long round three. But the sand's really good for bleeding. It should have been ranged. It's my bad. Obviously, don't want to stack melee. the strength and mechanic. I like the strength and mechanic. You sort of got to design the whole game around it, though. If you want to have it exist, and they when didn't want to do that, understandably. Strength and only makes sense if you have a lot of carryover mechanics in your game. Homecoming Gwent has way fewer carryover mechanics than it did in beta. Strengthens like uh, what Vi does, right? It boosts itself, but it keeps the boost when it goes back into the deck or graveyard. It increases the white strength of the unit, then, rather than just boosting it. Um... scared. He still has Defender Gezros, maybe. I might have been able to two O, maybe. The only good door is a dead. Yeah, 
Skags wins us this game. He was buffing Skags. There's no Oglies. If there is an Oglies, it's really tiny right now. No, Pumpkin didn't die. <laughs> I don't know what the context of that clip was. It was funny in the moment and it got clipped, and now it's constantly taken out of context. Ah, fuck. It probably doesn't matter. Cam. Nope, not there. My bad. One of these days I'll remember to play around Dancing Star. Today, not that day. Yeah, Werecat's more of a consideration than Beast is for this deck. Possibly. Uh, I don't know. I wouldn't put it past these decks to run like a row punish. Tortoise. Tempted to maroon his mana. Nah, I need the maroon for other stuff later. I'm not gonna waste a leader charge and the Neuromancy to try to yoink mana. the die rolls, die by the die rolls. We're eventually gonna get punished, right? Like some kind of random event is going to ruin us later on tonight. And it'll be justice for yoinking the Maruna and killing that Revenant just then. You can't high roll forever. around 
red haze? Not even a little bit. Should I be playing around that red haze? Probably. Can just go kind of near my haunt this round and push. Card. It's a good card. I... These should be on the same row. These should definitely be on the same row. Not stacking these two units is pretty nonsense. Sort of running out of things to do. I can play a Harpy Egg and use a Leader Charge. Consumes. It just means I'll have to keep a consume in round three. Okay, round's pretty good. Could also just like that lap leader leader now. Have a worse short round. He still has. He have both AAs. Decks again. A little wacky. Playing Deathwish monsters. Really heavy on Deathwishes for to maximize fiend value. How does he keep doing it? No interest in playing a four and a three, so. Hopefully we get a card here. Okay. So he has the AA. Just didn't want to play it before I passed. It's a little nonsense. Just a little nonsense. So I can get the Karen with the Anira. The sky will burn with the eternal fire! See what he does if I play Maruna here. I always get to Heat Wave and AA. Nero Vargas. I'm never getting Vargas over Karen. So 
So what the rev is worth... Seven? Eight? Probably more. You can AA for another rev. I guess that's kind of bad for me. And then I play Harpy Egg and we're probably just fine. If you want to point out what he do did wrong, you're, you're, you're free to do that, but don't just call him a monkey. This isn't Spiro's chat. It's just not productive. Then say why. Let chat learn. The reason he went for the, the archers, though, is he wanted to make sure that he had a forbidden magic, right? Like, it's one of those weird games where, like, I could see Naked Iteran being correct. Nah, I've just been playing for a very long time and don't spend any of my resources because I already have everything. Did he a Nero forbid magic? He might have. Like, that game was probably not correctly a, a MOBA Archers game. I'll give you that. He had the other round, too. Like, even if you just go, like, turn one rev, leader rev, next turn play it around. You have an Archer in hand that's going to be a little slow to get down, but... At least then you'll have your down online and play for a little more than seven. Uh, yeah, refunds. Well, Mod is doing the predictions right now. Wow, oh, Pipo was here. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. It's not about whether or not he played poorly, it's just be productive. No one benefits from calling people monkeys. Sure, but just like channel that frustration into helping educate chat. If it's that frustrating, you, you're probably the one to point out 
why it's frustrating, what they're doing wrong. I guess something that was been that bothered me a lot about the the Gwent community over the last year. I'm trying to do my part to make the Gwent community a little more wholesome in 2021. Where's my Manticore? <laughs> Where's my Manticore at? If you want to call my Manticore a monkey for being in the deck when I need him most, that's fair. My Manticore is a fucking monkey. is justice. I kind of want my opponent to do self bleed though. Yeah, it's all good, dude. It's all good. Right? I'm pretty sure greeting is nonsense. I know he has a bajillion crimes in hand. No, I play I play Larva, he pontars me. This is fine. This is totally fine. Okay, it's not totally fine. tried. like all consumes. That's also pretty problematic, huh? Probably not ideal. Who's the monkey now? Still Manticore! He was still chilling in the deck. some thinning. I don't know. I'd be cutting, what, a consume and the rot fiend.
Yeah, I can try to get the link for you after this game. I don't think I have it up right now. Yeah. Is he not playing boat? If the ring won't come off, just take the whole finger. I've got garbage to play. He just wants to trade garbage. Sand is all about trading garbage. That worked. What's the Nero for Yigurn, right? Nero, Yigurn, Vargas, Consume, Manticore. He paydays me, he paydays me. He doesn't have another payday. Deck. Uh, you can just play the Witcher's deck. Probably the main deck. You can find that in any of the meta snapshots. Grabs is also pretty good. But, uh... yeah, if you just dig through deck lists from the qualifiers, a few people brought an R for day two. A couple different lists. I think it's all, all either Witches or Revenants, but. See? Our winning condition was the self-bleed. The winning condition at rank 1 is always the self-bleed. 